Hi, I'm Maggie Combs, a content director here at Well Watered Women. So excited to tell you a little bit more about our first ever advent cards, show you some sneak peeks at them, help you really know what you're getting if you're buying this resource. Um, when I first joined the, the team last year, I was like, it was right before advent launch and I was like, can we do a kid's product for next year? And I'm so, I'm so excited that these are here. Our heart is really that the time that you spend studying Advent with your kids is an overflow of the time you've spent studying who Jesus is in our Advent for moms, for women, um, called Fulfilled, and that is on the book of Hebrews. You walk through Hebrews from beginning to end in the adult study, and then um, you learn specifically about what it means for Jesus to be our prophet, priest, and king, and get into idea of new covenant and um, the sufficiency of Jesus' salvation. And so that was really our heart behind the kids' cards. How can they be just an overflow of what the mom is already learning? And so if you're one of those moms, look, I'm there with you too, where it feels like, how do I talk about the gospel with my children? How do I open up those conversations? These cards will help you do that and you'll feel confident because to, to talk to your kids about them because they put these big theological concepts into simple language for kids to understand. So these are fulfilled Advent cards for kids. It's our first ever product and you'll see, I'm gonna flip around here in just a minute. We actually go through um, each week has a different focus. Jesus is our king. Jesus is our prophet. Jesus is our high priest. Jesus made a new way. That's the new covenant. And Jesus is faithful. Um, that their faith in Christ rests on his faithfulness. And so I'm going to flip these around and show you. But before I do that, I'll show you one more thing. To go along with these cards, we have a free, free, you go to our shop and actually add this to your cart and it's zero dollars. You can check out without paying for anything else. Um, a free parent guide for the first time ever. What I love about this guide is it really allows you as the parent to decide how far you want to go. Um, if you just want to do the cards, it's like three to five minutes a day and all you need are the cards and a Bible to look things up together. We love the idea of kids and parents opening up God's Word together and learning how to look up scriptures and really reading from God's Word His truth instead of just having it condensed down for kids. And then this is full, this parent guide is full of activities that go along with each week. And so what I love about this is that these activities there's really something for everyone. I have three boys at home and we need to do busy things. There's lots of busy activities. There's some quiet work activities. Um, you can do none of, you can do nothing in here and just do the cards. You can do the, the cards and like one thing a week from here, or you can go all out and do a different activity every day to reinforce the concepts that you're learning in the cards. Um, I think this would be an amazing resource, especially to if you're a homeschool family, if you want to really dig in and make these activities a part of your homeschool work. Um, the kids' cards, are our focus is that elementary age. So we are focused on kind of kindergarten through fifth, sixth grade, early middle school. And the kindergartners are gonna need a little help from the, a little more help from the parents, a little more discussion. The older kids could even take the cards, go off on their own, answer the question, and then come back and tell their parents about what they learned um, to give them a little bit more personal investment in what they're doing. So I'm gonna flip around and show you the cards. Okay, how cute are these cards? I wanna show you how a week kind of works. So this is the Jesus is our high priest week. And you'll see it starts on December 13th. And the first day is really explaining the concept. What does it mean to be the high priest? What were his responsibilities? Um, and then every single day in the whole study ends with a your turn question. These questions are meant to be opening places for conversation between you and your kids. The next day, we actually open the Bible and read, and then we have a your turn question that's really digging into what we've read above. 
Okay, this is more conceptual stuff again. Again, so here we have the verse written out for them and then they did have a chance to discuss what that verse means. You see like John 3:16. These these cards are just full of the gospel for your children. Um and then really making good application with what they're learning as well. And then each week actually ends with the same two set of questions. What is one thing that you learned about Jesus this week? A chance to review what you've learned. And then how does knowing Jesus as your high priest or your king or your prophet or that he made a new way or that he's faithful make your life better? We want kids to start to see that the gospel changes their whole life. So we're actually doing that for king, prophet, priest, made a new way, that Jesus is faithful, and then last day, Jesus changes everything. The perfect reminder for them starting the new year. And I wanna show you our parent guide a little bit too. This guide is, like I said, it's free on our shop website. Gives you some tips for how you can best use your cards. And then each week has, a, has corresponding activities to the subject of the week, the topic for the week. So there's make it activities, play it activities, bake it activities, craft it activities, and take it activities. Those are act of service activities. And you'll see at the very end, some of our activities come with some helpful little things that you can print off. So I highly recommend printing this in color if you can, but if you can only print in black and white, it still works. So I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of what it is like to do a week of our kids' advent cards. Yes, you can do these separately, but I just highly recommend doing them together. Um, it's gonna start creating opportunities for you to share from your own study that'll really be meaningful for you as a mom or as a caretaker. Um, if you're a grandparent who wants to do these with your kid, with the kids, that's fine. And look, I am the mom who like buys the thing and then does five days of it and then never and then never gets it finished. So we really created these cards as something that's doable, um, that's centered on the gospel, that will give your kids exactly what they need to reorient their hearts from our ten their tendency towards selfishness um, at this season, thinking about presents and fun and all their special things they get to do, to um, glorying in the wonders of their Savior and what he has, not what they are going to get, but what, what he has done for them in salvation. So I hope you'll take a look at these Advent cards and that they'll be a really special resource for your family this Advent season.